Hi guys, my name is Vikram Tucker. Today I'm going to show you how to read and process multi schema files in Talent Open Studio or Jasper ETL. So a couple of time we need to process files which has a multiple or a different schemas of record types in it. So these files, for example, we have a file which has an header record, which has a detail record and a footer or a trailer record. So the record type or a schema of all three records may be different. So how do pro how do we process these kind of files? So tal Talent has given us a very good uh, inbuilt component called T file input MS delimited, and we will use that component to process the multi schema file. So let's look at example multi schema file that we are going to process today. Uh, I have created this uh, simple file wherein we have header record and in header record we have a file date on which the file is being processed. Similarly we have four detail records uh, and detail records has a scheme of having name, age, product order and the quantity order. Similarly we have a trailer record which says the number of records processed. So let's start by creating a job let's name it as multi schema demo now uh, we'll configure this component so first of all we'll provide the path of a sample file now we have to provide character it is delimited by Now you can see that the file has been read in this box. Now you, you can see that there is a header record, there is a detail record and there is a trailer record. So the header record has two columns, detail has four columns and similarly trailer has two columns. So how do we define what is a header record? From the first column which says SDR is for header, DTL for detail and TLR for trailer. Now let's click on the fetch codes to fetch the different schema types that our file has. So it has automatically fetched that there are three schema types in our file. Let's name it as header, detail and trailer. And here in this box you can see the uh, metadata for every record type. Let's configure the metadata for header. So it says header has two columns, column and column one. Let's rename this column to the record type. Similarly, the second file date. Change the data type to date. That one. look at the data type for detail so it says there are four columns five columns say record type name page and this is product id This is a constant. Let's change trailer record type. This is record type and name of the other column is record count. Now you can see that we have configured all the three schema types here. Let's click on OK finish. In, in T file input MS limited component right row you, you can see that the three different type of record types were here row header one row detail one row detail one now let's drag the log row components header record Right click, row, 
header we have to record detail to detail trailer to trailer so let's run this job now you can see that we have run the job ran successfully it says one record goes to header one to trailer and four to detail now you can see that this is the trailer record it says record type and record count as per our file similarly detail records we have four detail records full name each product ID quantity and header record we have file name now we have this record in our flow you can utilize it as per your requirement if you want to do some validation on file date whether the file date is equal to the current date or you want to do some validation on the trailer record count so we have all the data in our job now we can process it as per requirements 